There's been a lot of speculation on Jake Paul versus Nate Diaz for months now, but Kevin Lee doesn't think it's ever going to happen. And that's exactly why Lee thinks Jake should just fight him and even call him out. But what makes him the perfect opponent for the YouTuber turned boxer? Well, that's exactly what we'll be looking at in today's video. So without further ado, let's get right into it. First up, Kevin Lee calls out Jake Paul. Kevin Lee, formerly in the UFC roster and known as Motown Phenom, recently had a chat with TMZ Sports where he talked about wanting to fight Jake Paul in the YouTuber's MMA debut. When discussing Paul signing with PFL, Lee said that he would be the first to welcome him into the sport, and that if Paul could manage to last around with him, he could earn the respect of the MMA community. The former UFC fighter believes that he's the best option for Paul's debut fight given his extensive experience in mixed martial arts. After all, Lee has been competing professionally since 2012, when he made his Ultimate Fighter season finale debut against Al La Quinta. Since then, he's gone on to compete against some of the biggest names in MMA, including Tony Ferguson and Edson Barboza. According to Lee, it would make all the difference for Paul if he faced someone of his caliber. He said that this kind of fight could open up new conversations about Paul, especially with people like UFC President Dana White. Lee himself signed on with Khabib Nurmagomedov's Eagle FC in 2022, and recently had a win over Diego Sanchez at Eagle FC 46 in March. But with the lack of events, he's currently basically a free agent. He sees Paul as having real potential, and believes that if the boxer really wants to make waves in the world of MMA, then he knows who to look for. Although a lot of people think that he might be overestimating just how good he is, especially since he hasn't really fought anyone in their prime at a very high level of skill yet. Up next, Kevin Lee doesn't think Paul vs. Diaz will ever actually happen. A Jake Paul vs. Nate Diaz fight has been in the works for quite some time now, but nothing's been confirmed as of yet, and Kevin Lee is convinced that it's actually never even going to happen. Just like we mentioned, Jake Paul just recently signed with a huge multi-fight, multi-year contract with the Professional Fighters League and will be competing in the new Super Fight division. And it seems like he's finally going ahead with plans to challenge Nate Diaz, who recently became a free agent after his long stint with UFC. So now, we have Jake Paul offering two bouts to Nate Diaz. First, a boxing match, then a mixed martial arts fight in the PFL. If this actually materializes, it's definitely going to be one of the biggest fights of all time. Let's be real, Jake Paul is no stranger to the world of MMA. He's 6-0 as a professional boxer, and he absolutely demolished Ben Askren and Tyron Woodley in 2021, plus scored a decision win over Anderson Silva last October. The talk of him going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Nate Diaz has been swirling for some time now, and came to a head at the Desert Diamond Arena in Glendale when Paul's team confronted Diaz. If the rumors are true, and a fight between YouTube sensation Jake Paul and mixed martial arts veteran Nate Diaz materializes, we can expect some serious trash talk from both sides. The Stockton native is no stranger to pre-fight hyping up. He's known for his quick wit, confidence, and skill in verbal sparring. On the other side, Paul is equally as proficient at rallying up his opponents with his signature brand of trash talk. Moving on, is there anyone else that Jake Paul can fight for his PFL debut? Kevin Lee isn't the only one Jake Paul could fight. There are actually a lot of other fighters that have been speculated to be his next opponent. Let's look at just a few. First up on the list, we have Canelo Alvarez. Jake has come a long way since his wild crazy talk of taking on boxing superstar Canelo Alvarez 18 months ago. But the reality is that he's still got as much of a chance of making that fight happen as he does winning the White House in 2024. And if the fight did somehow happen, it would be an uphill battle for him to win. But that didn't stop Paul from trolling Canelo after his victory over Silva, looking as confident as ever while challenging the four-division champion. You too, Canelo, he said with the biggest grin on his face. Paul went on to call him old and said that he looked weird against Triple G. It's always risky to call out the biggest names in boxing, but Paul has never run away away from a challenge. He might not have Canelo's pedigree or experience, but he believes that his old-fashioned grit and determination might be enough to get him the big fight that he craves. But Alvarez has made it quite clear that he has no interest in a showdown with Paul, and for good reason. Alvarez, who at just 32 years old is a trained and experienced boxer, would have no trouble beating Paul in the ring. Alvarez knows he has nothing to gain from taking on Paul and is wisely steering clear, but this should come as no surprise to Paul, who challenged an almost 50-year-old MMA a fighter with only four prior boxing matches under his belt. It almost seems like Paul was looking for someone he could easily beat, and got exactly what he asked for. Next up is the one and only Tommy Fury. It was the fight that everyone wanted to see, and when it finally appeared to be happening, Tommy Fury's bad luck got in the way. The British boxer was booked as Logan Paul's next opponent in August of 2021, but Tommy missed his chance because of a broken rib and bacterial infection. So Tyron Woodley stepped in for a rematch and was knocked out in 
one of 2021's most insane knockouts. The rivalry between these two social media giants turned boxers just kept intensifying, with a rematch being discussed for the summer of 2022. Unfortunately, Fury again missed his chance as he was denied entry to the United States because of visa issues. Tommy's been eager to get a piece of YouTuber turned boxer KSI since the pair clashed in an exhibition match in Cleveland two years ago. After his impressive showing against Daniel Bochanski on the undercard of his half-brother Tyson Fury's victory over Dylan White at Wembley Stadium, it seems like Fury might have the opportunity to prove himself against KSI, who's also shown some interest. In a recent interview with Ariel Helwani on MMA Hour, Paul admitted he'd embraced the idea of being booed in the UK during a potential fight with Tommy Fury, remarking that, I like playing the role of the heel. Although he said that he's on board with the idea, Paul said that he doesn't want to take that risk because he thinks he's going to back out once again. Finally, we have Uriah Hall. Uriah Hall stepped back into the combat sports space and electrified the crowd with his performance. The former UFC competitor managed to outclass and outfight ex-NFLer LeVon Bell in all four rounds of their cruiserweight bout, giving him a well-deserved unanimous decision victory. After his fight, Hall had a message to deliver. He said that he'd like a chance to take on undefeated boxer Jake Paul and that he could definitely give him a real challenge. Hall knows firsthand how hard Bell hits in the ring and boldly stated that Paul isn't as hard of a hitter as his opponent was. To be fair, Hall is no stranger to taking on difficult opponents, and if given the opportunity, he would definitely step up to the plate and take on Paul. He also promised that even when taking a punch or two, he wouldn't back down from any challenge. Hall's fight against Bell was nothing short of amazing, and it has left many wondering what else he might be capable of. If he ever gets the chance to fight Jake Paul, we may just find out. It's been two years since Uriah Hall last stepped into the octagon, but a recent loss by his former opponent Anderson Silva and a win by Jake Paul has somehow reignited the fire in him. After going 1-2 and two in three fights, after that victory over Silva, Hall retired from MMA in August. But he now has a sight set on Paul, who currently stands at 4-0 against F UFC fighters including Silva, Tyrone Woodley, and Ben Askren. Last but not least, Kevin Lee on his opportunity with PFL. Kevin Lee got the shock of his life when he was released from the UFC in late 2021. He had signed a four-fight deal with Eagle FC, but only managed to compete once for them before finding himself back on the free agent market. In March 2022, he did pick up a win on that single outing for the promotion, defeating Diego Sanchez by a unanimous decision. The way he got cut from the UFC was rather complex, with him being caught in the middle of a dispute between his management at creative artist agencies and the UFC over heavyweight champion Francis Ngannou's contract negotiations. Now having signed with Dominance MMA, Kevin Lee is once again seeing opportunities to possibly make a return to the UFC, although he isn't sure if that would be the best move for him. It certainly looks like the Motown phenom has plenty of options moving forward though, and even with his split from the UFC looming over him, there's still a big future full of possibilities that Kevin Lee can look forward to. All signs point to a successful MMA career no matter what path he chooses in the coming months and years. Let's just hope that his time away from the UFC won't have any adverse effect on his skills or performance when he returns to the cage. At age 30, Kevin Lee still has a lot of fights left in him, that's for sure. That's a wrap for this video. Do you think that Kevin Lee and Jake Paul should have a fight this year? And who do you think will come out on top? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. We'll see you in the next one.